Good morning, I'm Sharon with the Pickaway County Library and I'm here to bring to you your preschool story time. We're going to start off with a song that everybody should know and we'll sing two, three, maybe four verses. It's Old MacDonald. So our book today that we're going to be reading focuses in on a pig. So we'll start off with a pig. Are you ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. What should we do for our second animal? Let's do a duck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. We'll do one more, let's do a dog. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a bark bark here and a bark bark there, here a bark, there a bark, everywhere a bark bark. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. All right, we'll get to reading our book. Churchill's Tale of Tales by Anka Sandu and our publisher, is peach tree. Churchill's Tale of Tales. Churchill was a very proud pig, just like any other pig. This is his tale of tales. Churchill valued many things in life, smelling beautiful flowers, painting self portraits, playing classical music, and reading good books. And he loved to have tea with his friends, Billy and Gruff. Milk and sugar? But Churchill had one thing that he, pri that he prized above everything else, his tail. It wasn't a big tail. It wasn't a fancy tail. It wasn't even a very practical tale, but it was his tale, and it made him feel great. But one morning, his tale was nowhere to be found. Churchill searched here, there, and everywhere. Finally, he gave up searching. He was miserable. I just don't feel like myself without my tail, he said. Billy and Gruff came up with a good idea. They gave Zebra a call. Hello, Zebra, we have a tail emergency. Can you help? Come over. I think we have just the thing. The zebras were happy to help. They had a spare tail for Churchill to try. But the zebra tail didn't feel quite right. Perhaps I should try some other tales, Churchill thought. So he went to Peacock, and I thought Churchill was proud before. Peacock gave Churchill a tail that made him feel beautiful. Ooh, said Churchill to himself. I wonder what other tales I could try. A tail from a fish made Churchill feel fantastic. He could do things he'd never done before. Churchill never talks to us anymore. It's all these fancy tales. He tried tiny tails, spotted tails, snappy tails, and tails that made him feel big. Trying different tails made Churchill feel so good that he didn't have time for anything else, not even his old friends. Come and play, Churchill. Now, thought Churchill, it's time for something very special. And he answered him, no, thank you. I'd rather be busy with my new tails. So he went to Tiger's house. Tiger's tails were really super. I feel fierce, said Churchill. I am the world's strongest, bravest pig, he said. I'm not scared of anything. I'm totally fearless. But then... 
A dark shadow fell across his path. Eek! Churchill felt terrified and very alone. What could it be? A giant mean lizard? An unfriendly blue alien? Or a huge hungry robot with a twisted fork on its head? But it wasn't any of those things. It was just a little bird. What's that on your head? asked Churchill. It, it's my tail. Well, I don't know, the bird replied. I found it in a bush. I thought it was a worm, but I couldn't eat it. I didn't like, it didn't look like a flower. It was useless, so I put it on my head. I've grown rather fond of it. Oh, but it is my very own perfect tail, said Churchill. Please, may I have it back? Well, said Bird, if it's yours, then you should have it. Thank you, said Churchill. Finding his old tail made Churchill feel like his old self again. He was so grateful that he helped Bird find the perfect thing for her head. And making a new kind, a new friend helped Churchill remember his old ones. So he organized a tea party to bring all his friends together. My dear friends, said Churchill, I have been a very silly pig and a very bad friend. Can you ever forgive me? And they did because they loved Churchill, even though he could be very silly. From then on, Churchill took great care of his own perfect tail, and he was perfectly happy with it. Most of the time. For your craft, you will find this picture of a pig with many tails, like our Churchill in our story. And you will be able to print this off. It'll be in the comment section of this story time. And then you can color your tails and color your pig and then maybe have somebody help you cut out those tails and place those tails on your pig. And then you can decide which tail you like best for your pig. We have a pig tail, a fox, a cat and a raccoon tail, a rat tail, a dog tail, monkey and a lizard. Go ahead and have fun with this craft and experimenting on which tail looks best. For our activity today, we're going to take farm animals. Now, I couldn't find any farm animals here at the library, so I'm just going to have a little plastic dinosaur. You'll take some animals and go ahead and hide them around the house and then have your little one find them and bring them to you and maybe put them in a bucket or a box. And when all the animals have been retrieved, then you will sing Old MacDonald again. That's why we sang it in the first part of our story time. So once you get them and you take them out of the basket and then you ask your little one, what kind of animal is this? Let's say this is a dog. And then you start and you sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm and then do the sounds of the dog. All right, so you have fun with that activity and the wonderful craft and I will see you next week.